हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम पुणे इंडिया माय नेम इज़ राजीव सरना टुडे आई हैव कम हियर टू कवर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच एवरीबडी शुड अंडरस्टैंड टुडे एज वी आर यू नो इन दिसंबर एंड एंड एवरीबडी इज वेरी एक्साइटेड दैट आवर कंपनी ऑन पैसिव इज यू नो गोइंग टू लॉन्च फॉर द सॉफ्ट लॉन्च एंड देन द हार्ड लॉन्च and uh, some formalities uh, which are uh, you know shared in the last webinar uh, by our uh, respected ceo sir that uh, you know certain uh, uh, legalities are in pipeline which uh, needs to be complied and uh, would be done in a due course and uh, since uh, uh, we are going to launch for once and all we should not be uh, in a stage where things are half done now uh, as i keep on getting lot of uh, you know queries and emails about our company uh, on passive legality and the legal aspects uh, although i have spoken many times in team champion uh, webinars also in question answer session also uh, that our company is uh, very much legal in fact i have done a hindi uh, uh, video also uh, which was uh, circulated two months back uh, from time to time i have been you know uh, uh, giving the knowledge to the people who join in the webinars and uh, responding them so i thought you know i should make a video in english so that uh, you know our all on passive family go founders uh, who cannot understand hindi they will be able to uh, get a hang of it and could understand okay so that is the whole purpose of making this video in india not just for my team champion india family but for the family world over now uh, well those who don't know me uh, i'll introduce myself my name is uh, rajiv sarna and uh, i belong to pune india and uh, uh, from uh, uh you know from the aspect that you know people want to know who i am etc so as i told my name is rajiv sarna belong to pune uh, india and i am a multifaceted person being from an it company and also a businessman also a financial consultant having a legal knowledge also i have participated because i have my own private limited company so i participated in so many tendering processes which were there in corporate as well as government international also so for anybody to uh, you know participate in anything or form a company you need to have the certain documents which should be uh, technically okay then only you can proceed ahead with the business well i am a visualizer designer also and uh, if you talk if i talk about my credentials in india so i have been uh, you know honored right up to the highest level in india uh, in the government sector and private be it a, a you know central government level be it a state government level in maharashtra i have been uh, working closely i have worked closely with it companies to name uh, you know uh, microsoft hilot packard uh, novel netware san jose uh then in india wipro infotech tvs electronics modi olivetti fujitsu icm so these were the companies whom i have worked now with my 35 years of experience i am here to guide you and uh, give my view point about the on passive company see not only uh, it sector i have worked with uh, you know uh, indian armed forces uh, for their requirements with the banking sector insurance sector with the educational institutes uh, be it uh, national insurance academy national institute of bank management uh, uh, national defense academy and uh, in my family along with my wife i have two children both are uh, be okay they they are engineers and uh, uh, coming back to uh, uh, the various uh, uh, you know i could take uh, 10 15 minutes talking about myself uh, because i have been uh, involved in uh, working with indian administrative services is officers ips officers uh, and various levels uh, and uh, 
coming on on passive i am uh, you know grateful to the almighty that uh, you know earlier i was a, a vendor of it company and now i am a owner uh, i can say i am a co partner with the company now uh, many people they uh, see they keep on giving me call uh, and uh, email ki sir uh, uh you explain us about the legality of the company now see in uh, uh, any country uh, if i uh, talk about india we need to have certain registrations done okay these registrations are uh, like our company has got a pan number that is permanent account number which is linked with the income tax then we have gst number which is called as general sales tax number what our sales i am doing okay so i must file the return with the government so for that i have to have the number which we have okay now coming to on passive where on passive is on passive is based main office is in orlando usa and the whole back office is in india we have places in bangalore we have two offices in hyderabad now uh Uh, when we say that we have pan number gst number whether it is real or not you can definitely when i say it is there that means either you can trust or you cannot trust me so what you can do is you can uh, search on internet by putting the company's uh, pan number so you will get uh, that it very much exists it's under bangaluru uh, 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 under uh, bangaluru jurisdiction and uh, now the main office where the cream of people are working is in hyderabad high tech city hyderabad in telangana now the G, you can when you search on internet the gprs is not going to lie to you okay and secondly i will also not the reason is i am one of the 28 person leaders from india who visited hyderabad office i my gratitude to almighty to ash mafra to uh, gurushminder dhillo to jassi singh all top people i just joined four and a half months back okay it was my good luck and uh, uh, the blessings coming from almighty that uh, i could take up uh, this responsibility and i am one of the 20 core uh, body members from india Uh, and uh, coming back to the uh, further legality part so number 1 we have the pan number number 2 we have the gst number number 3 when you register in the company uh, putting your email id it asks for the email verification so uh, your kyc no your customer verification is also done at the same time there is a message coming from the support go founder yes you have been verified and you can log in that means both ways the uh, compliance takes place after you pay uh, $97 which is worldwide uh, converted to indian rupees 7700 rupees plus there is 18% gst 18% gst is for what it is going is a tax which the indian government and state government levies so 9% goes to central government 9% goes to state government so there is a break up in the receipt so which all indians if they log with the net banking credit card debit card they will get cryptocurrencies they won't get the receipt okay because they are saving on to the tax part okay now the next part is your kyc is done then you log in okay make the payment you get the receipt then next is uh, there is a nda that is non disclosure agreement where uh, which is a good good uh, number of paragraphs people can go through it's a legal aspect okay uh, i have uh, for each country there are uh, attorneys okay in india also there is attorney so uh, like when i signed in india so uh our ceo ash mafra sir then india's attorney uh, deepak koshawaha and my signature are there very much in place okay so it's a legal binding anything any time you have a problem you are free to take a refund so no company does that no company gives you the chance 
so why on passive is so confident on passive is so confident because we are doing everything real we are real people i have seen on passive is a real company i was part of that particular event on 3rd to 6th december 10 days back and uh, well uh, moving ahead uh, people ask me sir uh, why don't we are covered under mca what about cin number so i'll take up things one by one uh, for that we need to understand the uh, structure of doing business in india basically there are four to five different structures number one is proprietary proprietary means what if only i start doing the business rajiv sarnatas okay i i don't have any partners so for that i don't require permission other than my local areas okay number 2 if i and uh, dhillo sir or jassi ji we become partner that means there are three partners so that means what it's a partnership deed okay so under that again i have to take permission only for the local or corporation or the state level okay third level is which is called as a llp limited liability partnership okay limited liability partnership private limited they and public limited they all come under mca which is called as a ministry of corporate affairs in india like i have my own company which is a private limited where myself and my wife we are two directors okay so if i am a director if it's a private limited company then i need to take a certificate of incorporation which comes under roc that is registrar of company in india okay not applicable for abroad companies okay because every country has their own rules regulations to uh, invite foreign direct investment or other businesses now uh, when it's a private limited you can have your closely that means the funding going from myself and my family it's a closely held company where no public money is taken the moment i take company funds in my company this becomes public limited company so to decide and to become a public limited means i have to have ipo ipo means public money that is initial public offer okay that means i will issue the shares okay now our company is yet to get launched okay we are yet to open the uh, our shop okay so we are not covered number 1 ours is a purely purely partnership company since it is a partnership company we are not covered under ministry of corporate affairs not under registrar of company we are governed by registrar of firms okay there are 22 offices of roc in india we don't fall under that so since it's not a certificate of incorporation there it's not roc approval we don't come under mca so there is no article of association no memorandum of association and no sin sin means c i n that means corporate identity number so all these things are taken away now you if you want to search about our company in public domain you will get only uh, uh, our pan number gst number okay so this clears all the doubts now people say sir so many employees are working in hyderabad you know i have seen 400 employees working in bangalore also and now as per our ash mufra sir also we have capacity Uh, of uh, nearly 1500 work, uh, people working in one shift we have five floors taken on nine year lease now just understand how can a state government give a permission to employ anyone whether it's a bengaluru or whether it is telangana to employ people they have to have their provident fund number their esi number and all these things but before that the compliance has to be done by the company now all these things have to be understood by people since i am purely it person i am a engineer i am a businessman i am telling you because i am not from a networking or mlm that's why people trust me okay i am a corporate person i work with tata motors kinetic engineering so many so many government uh, and private organizations i have worked 
सो दीज थिंग्स आर टू बी अंडरस्टूड आइदर बाय माय वीडियो और दे शुड गो बैक टू देयर चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इट इज सो इफ थिंग्स इफ द रूल्स आर नॉट एप्लीकेबल व्हाई माय नेम व्हाई ऑन पैसिव नेम शुड कम अंडर एम सी एट शुड कम अंडर आर ओर सी सो दीज आर नॉट गोइंग टू कम सो बी रेस्ट अश्योर्ड वॉट आई एम सींग इज आई हैव सीन द कंपनी आई हैव सीन ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंट्स विच आर देयर दे आर अवेलेबल ऑन इंटरनेट ऑल्सो यू कैन सर्च अच्छा गोइंग बैक नॉ इन इंडिया इट इज अ पार्टनरशिप कंपनी ओके इन यू एस ए इट इज ऑन पैसिव एल एल सी दैट इज लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी कंपनी इट्स ओवर देयर now there also if you search in california this has been in orlando this has been registered there are annual reports available in public domain all filing has been done even up to uh, september 2020 the returns have been filed now people ask me sir can i have a look at the balance sheet of the company in india now tell me friends the company is yet to start how can a balance sheet come in picture balance sheet means what it's the asset and liabilities okay how much sales you have done we are just enrolling people to come in the company as a, we are enrolling them as a partner we are yet to open our shutter okay we are yet to open our shop okay then only the customers are going to this is a offer of 97 dollar only for the people who trust the company we are coming here, here as a user as a customer okay because we will be customer also will be users also and because we are coming initially uh, with the trust with the on passive so we are given a profit sharing okay so people who understand this they should come inside this those who don't understand they can come as a user later on okay whatever they are going to pay i am going to get profited because we'll be in top 1% category now these are the points which all people should understand uh, a lot of other queries they also come but that is not important and uh, i think with this uh, small video in fact i have taken almost uh, 18 20 minutes this is good enough to clear the things uh, from my perception my point of view company is 100% legal i was the first person to speak on international webinar on 4th of december with ash mafra sir okay he is a pure gem you know i am not uh, advertising about the company what i am doing is in unbiased manner i have shown my uh, i am using my heart also i am using my brain also as ash mafra sir also says and i joined the company in a mission and i was impressed with the ideology of ash mafra sir that you know there was only one mother teresa who uh, was getting funding and was doing uh, you know the betterment of the humanity i am in that mission okay money is going to be by product the value which i have received the recognition the rewards etc that was there in my 35 years of business also but i feel my this second inning going is going to be super duper hit okay because i am not working for my team i am working for all on passive who is whoever is there i am there with the person whether they are from uh, any of the territory of india or from abroad no caste no creed no religion no age i am there to support everyone okay with my knowledge my experience my uh, you know status i am thankful to the almighty because i am not a uh, uh, in fact i am learning so many things by coming uh, uh, on on passive i am thankful to ash mafra sir for uh, bringing such kind of a wonderful platform and uh, those who are waiting uh, you know they can definitely find everything they can search everything on google but if they want to find themselves they must find on on passive it's built from heart with love and compassion thank you namaste from india thank you god bless all thanks a lot for listening to me thank you thanks